There it is. As you know, I'm filling it up with hydrogen clay pebble media from one of my small aquaponic beds that was inside that I'm dismantling for the larger system. So I put the uh, I'm putting a lot of that uh, hydrogen clay pebbles in this 35 gallon pot. That's going to be the substrate. This is for aquaponics. That's why it's going in there. But look at these dragons. I gotta admire my dragons and the sun soaking up all that sun. They are happy. They should be budding here soon. They're loving this sun. The sun came out. It is now a beautiful solar day. And what I'm gonna do is keep building this up because I'm gonna be potting this. Sweet Southern Cherry. Barbados Cherry. Actually, this is a Barbados Cherry. I'm in, I'm not seeing two grow zones here in Cypress, Texas, northwest of Houston, Burbs of Houston. I'm actually in 9A, 9B. We're right in between two zones here. Texas has several grow zones because it's so big. This is Southern Texas, so I'm in 9A and 9B. And the uh, Southern Barbados Cherry does well in zones 9 to 11. It's more of a shrub type tree that grows very well in container pots. That's why I chose this. And I'm gonna grow this aquaponically. I'm gonna fill this pot up to about that high. I'm just gonna take this out, plant this in this pot, and it will be grown aquaponically. This will go into the new aquaponic system and one of the large uh, grow beds where it will be uh, constantly watered every hour or so automatically with that bell siphon that's in there already. And the water will come out, go into the grow bed and back into the sump and back and be pumped right back to the fish tank. So self-watering. That's how I will be planting these fruit trees, aquaponically. And I'll never have to water them again. And they'll be fertilized with the rich nitrate that's converted from the nitrite from the fish. So I'm gonna get started and finish this up, finish pot potting this Barbados cherry tree or bush. Beautiful day.